quick break from payroll work to go over sports algorithms. Let's talk about four sports. Let's talk about football. Let's talk about NBA. Let's talk about college basketball. And let's talk about a big slate for NHL tomorrow. So <clears throat> let's start with football. Uh, looks like we thought the Colts could squeeze one out. The Colts have Nick Foles at quarterback throwing interceptions and if the Chargers score exactly at 20, but the Colts put up no offense. The whole week doesn't look that bad top down, actually. Um, that's that's pretty good, actually, for uh, projected margins of victory. Only Detroit loses. And some of the stuff down here, um, you know, is, is messy, but it's way down here. And so that's kind of okay. So this is not a bad, not a bad week. All right. So that's football. All right, we'll, we'll talk about it next week until like Wednesday or something. Wednesday or Thursday. How about Thursday? <laughs> we get everything else done. All right, uh, hockey will do last. How about college basketball? Southern Methodist does lose, but barely. They led this game until the last basket, and Hawaii wins at home in Hawaii. Shocker. Um, so, but they do cover. So that happened um, on Christmas Day. The 27th. We have a short slate on here. The only thing really of interest, I mean, Marquette probably beats Seton, uh, Seton Hall. So you could consider that minus 295. I think it's probably a true home game. Uh, and if that's the case, probably. But a line's still really bad. Now, what do you do here with this Jacksonville Notre Dame, uh, like Notre Dame game? <clears throat> so I updated this. You can see that Jacksonville is not a great team. This is in South Bend is the problem. Margins really tight in their way. So it says they could cover because they're on this side of the list. So you can't take them plus eight and a half. Uh, that's a lot of points. So it's because Notre Dame is at home, but it says that empirically Jacksonville can do it. Can they could even potentially win? But um, but on the road, it's not advisable. So. But with the points, given that with no home bump, they do show up on there. That is, uh, it's probably a pick that's going on on around round in the model. NBA today, not great, <laughs> not great. But weird injuries is weird. Like why were the Pelicans so injured? They didn't play that bad. They, they beat the Pacers anyway. Uh, this this line dropped to like even money because this was all screwed up. And they know who's hurt. Cavaliers are not as good as Brooklyn. I think Brooklyn is playing better, and, and I, I took the Cavs, and I'm not happy with my wager. Um, I did take Houston plus seven, and they won the game. Anyway, there you go. And Timberwolves lose to the Heat down here, but they do cover. So anyway, uh, rough day NBA on, uh, on Monday here. How about Tuesday? Well, on Tuesday... Let's take a look what we got here. Um, so Knicks can beat Dallas in Dallas and underdog going to get five and a half with them also. So that, that's pretty good. Uh, everything else you got Golden State a little injured here, which makes that tough. Pacers over the Hawks, but it's a negative margin. A lot of bad lines down here, a lot of iffy games. Kings could beat the Nuggets plus 125. But in terms of positive margin and projected margin of victory because of injuries as of Monday night, let's say the Knicks, at least plus the five and a half here. Now let's go to hockey. Huge slate. Some expected goaltenders. I saw this Buffalo-Columbus game has no line and probably isn't happening. What is Buffalo snowed in? Is Columbus snowed in? Is the entire Northeast just covered in blizzard? Um, I mean, I've been checking out this guy on YouTube named uh, Reed Timmer. Reed Timmer, he's like chasing weather everywhere. This guy is incredible. I mean, he was showing just sculptures of ice on the Buffalo Pier. It was like insane. Um, anyway, uh, so I guess that game's not happening. Or at least so far, it looks like it might not be. So what does the algorithm say? It says that Carolina over Chicago, but it's minus 400. It says this game isn't happening. It says... Boston over Ottawa is only minus 182. Big win score percentage. Says they put up goals, but these goaltenders are expected and might not be touted. So we'll see. What else we got? 
We've got Dallas over Nashville at only minus 128. It's a very reasonable line there if Ottinger goes. That's 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 pretty solid right here. Um, what else we got? Colorado's favorite over Arizona minus two thirty. Sure. Um, it's a pick 'em game with San Jose and Vancouver, kind of. Toronto beats St. Louis at minus one sixty seven. It says Pittsburgh and the Islanders tie two two. With this goaltending matchup, Washington playing? Caps, are you playing? Yeah, you are. Playing the Rangers. That would be a great matchup. Lindgren and Shesterkin would give the nod to the Rangers 3 2. But the Caps have been playing well coming into the Christmas break here. But so have the Rangers. Good game here. It's going to be a great game to watch in New York. If, if, they're, if they can get to New York, I don't even know. It snows everywhere. Um, so yeah, so that's the look for the, uh, Tuesday sports algorithms. I am back to getting all the payroll workout to everybody. Just a quick break to get this out. All right. Good luck. We all your picks be winning.